Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nipples Plays Final Fantasy X Final Fantasy X HD Remaster where it's a Let's Blitz episode but uh we're not going to straight away just blitz ball. Instead we're going to begin a long pilgrimage back to Luca. And you might ask well why would you do that? The road is, you know, perilous and it took you several episodes just to get here. And the answer is essentially two parts. One, it'll be good grinding on the way there and the way back. So the other episodes will take less time. And two, there's a few Blitzball players that uh, their contracts have gone up recently. And uh, they haven't been re-signed, so we've got a few slots available. I'm thinking, why not? You know, we got, uh, I think... Was it Abus and Doram? Their contracts are up. We've also got uh, a couple of the Ronsos. Their contracts are up. You know, there's there's a lot there's a lot to uh, to investigate there. We'll think of it like a tournament. We go in there to compete, and it's a mighty pilgrimage on the way there. So rest assured, there will be Blitzball in this episode. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of. Just make my way south and think to to what blitzballers I'd be wanting to pick up. I think notably uh, some of the Luka goers would be good. A Ronso Fang maybe also. We've got a pretty solid t uh, team in the their endurance and attacks aren't too bad. So we could be thinking instead maybe. Hmm. We almost want like a Guado Glory or an Albed Sykes. The, the Al Some of the Albeds also haven't been signed, but I mean, where would I find Albed? That said. Our team isn't doing too bad, I think, with the addition of Rop and, uh, you know, keeping Tidus off the field or in the goal. It's been kept pretty, uh, pretty good. I should realize my mouse is in the way. There we go. I'll try to fix that in post. If I can. Stone touch? There we go. There's a nice little team we got going on here. Plus, you know, one of the other ways to consider this is that with every battle we get gill, and gill's what we need to pay our players. So it, it is definitely a Let's Blitz episode, even if there isn't currently any Blitz balling happening. Just, just you know, trust me on this one. Plus, it's not that far to Luca. I just have to go down this road, down the Mushroom Rock Road, or the Jose High Road, then into the Mushroom Rock area, and then from there, Tidus is dead. Well, rip Tidus. Yeah, from Rush Mushroom Rock Road to Mihen High Road to Luca. I could really use a stone touch walker. You know, if you uh if you can find it in you. Uh okay. You know, I think I'll cast cure on Yuna if she does the most damage other than Tidus. Oh, I didn't call stone touch, that's why it didn't happen. Oh no. I can't summon when I'm silenced. Oh, I guess I can. I'll do that then. I would have assumed summoning was a uh, was a spell, so to speak. Look at that damage. He doesn't even get a go. Ocho dance, no problem. 
for an Aeon is immune to all things. And one more strike should do it. We're gonna do just a just a tentacle slap. Yeah, I don't know where I got it in my head that if if an Aeon wins the fight, then the XP only goes to them. It's just whoever tags the enemy, like with an attack or magic or otherwise. I think in the first couple episodes, I was I was adamant though I rarely used Valfor. To be like, oh no, no, no. If an Aeon's in the fight, no one but the Aeon gets XP. Evidently. Out of my way. Sure. Evidently, that is not true. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Leave those to Sir Oren? No? Okay. I think they just generally assume I understand now. That I understand how the game works. Which is nice. It's a shame I can't convince Wacker at the moment to uh, join back into the team. He'd be kind of a, a shit striker, but I'm, I'm sure we could train that up. I mean, he started with Venom Shot, so how cool was that? Stone Touch? There we go. Look at that, nice, quick and easy battles. Not even having to use overdrives. And we're making progress. We're almost back on uh, Jose High Road. And then... Oh, Ashlinda. Out of my way. <laughs> Waka, Waka has heard that we are going back to Luca, And he will not be stopped. Uh, yeah, we'll use an Echo Screen. Why not? No one silences the summoner. Stone Touch? There you go. Calling it like a champ. Oh, Oren has a weapon called Spider's Kiss. I'm going to try to guess what that does. Uh, spider's Kiss? I'm guessing it it's a poison weapon? Poison touch? Like like a like a spider's venom? Hey, I got it right. That'd be a fun little game. Try and try and work out what the weapon name is trying to say. Stone touch. There we go. I'm calling it I'm all the roll. time. If you don't say it, it doesn't happen. There you go, back on Jose High Road. I, I believe you can come back this way. Obviously the events of Operation Meehen maybe would suggest that it would have been difficult to. Wow, Titus, you're super depressed this episode. That's right, at least Yuna's, Yuna's, Yuna's staying positive, I think. She hasn't really said that much, but I'm assuming it's positive. At the very least, they're all getting experience, and that's what matters. Hey, what's up? We're going, we're summoners, we're going the wrong way. Turns out, the final Aeon, final summoning is uh, in fact at uh, Zanakand. No, the Sade. I ruined my own joke. I didn't say Stone Touch, so it didn't happen. Oh no, we're all asleep. And the Basilisk knows Stone Gaze. Oh, I dodged seeing or sight. Very well. Stone touch? Damn it. I said it too late, that's what happened, you know. I'm still I'm still very good at calling it, I just, you know. I didn't say it quick enough, so that's why it didn't happen. I don't think you can stone touch these guys. Yeah. Uh, sure. Ooh. Titus is nimble. Between that and the quick attack. He's doing a good job. Uh, 
See? Positive. That's the Yuna we, we know and love. Also, Yuna that we know and love, please cure us. Making our way down Jose. Man, imagine the fiends on Mihen High Road when they see how how strong we've become. Probably not gonna notice. Stone touch? Nope. You know, I either get it right or I don't. Those are literally the only two outcomes. Almost there. There are more encounters than you remember when playing Final Fantasy, I find. Might as well level up. Get ourselves some cool abilities. Such as Thundara and... So we've got Fira, Fira, Waterer, Thundara... Blizzara, there we go. That's like Ice Ara, Ground Ara. One of these is correct. Get Raka some very much needed uh, health points. I don't remember where we were sending him, so for now I'm I'm just going to kind of move him randomly. We'll unlock one of those because we have it. Worst case, like if you're going completionist, they pretty much go everywhere. Uh, we have the health we get though, 200, 200, 200. So 600 in one level up, effectively. Tidus, you're kind of our. Uh, a sword slashing white mage. So we need to get you some more mana, really. Okay. Oh yeah, so look at that. Waka now has 1400 health. I think the most of the party? No, Auron was 1600. So I don't think we'll have to worry about him anymore. Oof. Miss and a miss, but a counter-attack. You've fallen into my trap. Stone touch? Nope. Uh, I fear this thing more because of the pollen. Although I think the Drake has like electric breath or something. Actually, that's a point. I think it has a Lancet move that I can use. Nope, never mind. Stone touch? So close. One of these days. Maybe it's not the the proper the proper lightning drake. That was just a uh, you know a bad version, a facsimile, if you will. I think I've used that word correctly. I'm sure someone can tell me. Yay! Here we go. These guys, my favourite. You know what, Waka? Time for your, your attack reels. I think. We fought long and hard for that in the Blitzball tournaments, and I missed. Oh, it's just kind of sad without all the effects. Well, you did about 400 damage to each of them. Let's bring on a real player. Specifically for that Basilisk that we shouldn't have even been here for. Wow, you did overkill the hell out of it, though. Haha. -ha. We dodged s sight again. There we go. It's all going a bit quite smoothly. 420 AP. There's even a save point up ahead. Oh, God. Oof. Counter attack? No. Okay, not not pulling off the bat. That's good. Alrighty. Got one down. Oh, Yuna's out of MP. Uh, I'm just gonna swap her out for Lulu. I mean, we're right next to a save point, so we'll just bring Yuna back in when she's got a mana back. Stone touch. Damn it. I went from, you know, I went from calling it to not calling it at all. Uh, you're gonna cure yourself, I think. Stone touch. Here we go. So close. T 
Turns out I just beamed him to death. I'm good, yeah? I mean, yeah. It only took a few hundred battles, but we got there. There we go. Almost back. We just got the Mushroom Rock area, followed by uh, the uh, Meehan High Road. Are there any battles around this way? I don't think there are. So this will be just kind of a, ni a nice jaunt. Oh, I, I take it back. Oof. Do they not like Lulu? Or Tidus? Waka, they're friends with, though. They've worked out an understanding. Stone touch? There we go. And I'll bring back Yuna. My turn. My turn. Explosion. That is, that is quite a bit of overkill. Well, another save point. If you mention save points, the game takes it very poorly. Stone touch. There you go. I've got my powers back. Do a little savoury. And the way to get back, I believe, is somewhere over here. Ah, yes. As indicated by the green box. Miss. Uh, fire's bad against ice. I, I still somewhat disagree with that. But I'll take it. There you go. I killed a armored enemy without piercing. Take that, Auron. I did it. Hey, what up? Stupid out bed, leaving the junk behind. We can't get our car through because this thing's in the way. Now we have to carry everything. Well, a lot of people did die here. So, yeah? Oh, hey, stuff. It's a soft. So I think we're now on the underside of the road to the one we came in on. Although, as far as the battle map's concerned, it is the road we came in on. Bam, stone touch. Didn't even have to call it. Ah, this thing's weak to ice. Nicely done, nicely done. We're getting them levels. Plodding along through. There are a lot of encounters in 10, it feels like. But I guess, you know, we're getting the grinding out of the way. Meeny, meeny, miny, moe. Nice! I now have my second overdrive. Stone touch? There you go. Still the most satisfying it's effect, okay. I think, in a Final Fantasy game. Is just just shattering someone with a with a blitz ball that stones people. Probably not tournament legal though. Okay. We're up against two big old beasties now. Haven't seen these guys in a while. Oof. Stone touch? There you go. Wow, they did not like Yuna. Two gores. But she's back on her feet. I'm 
truly sorry. That's fair. You did get gored by a massive animal. Thankfully, Waka Stoneball is here. Thank you, everyone. Oh boy, All right. Let's do some heals. We need we need to get Tita some health. I think taking him along the White Mage route, there's not much uh, in the way of health over there. Stone touch? Bam. It's uh, Waka's version of the farewell, I think. If you hear a yeah, then you'll probably be probably about to be turned to stone. Alright, we're almost back on the Meehan High Road. Just gotta get this last bit of mushroom rock out of the way. It's all gonna be worth it, I I hope. That's Titus' version of Farewell. See ya! Yeah. Bye for now! Farewell. It's always just more kind of like happy rather than rather than Oren's resolute farewell. Oh hey, it's Guado. The warrior monks and Guado have joined forces to protect to guard the high road. Normally it is the Crusader's duty. Maester's Maester's Maester Keenock and Seymour. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. So as if to say, the Maesters, Maester Keenock and Seymour, consider the people's safety above all. I'm just a measly sentry now that the Crusaders failed. Why do I have to suffer for what those faithless more? Wow. Brutal. Well, not quite a scene transition, but we we're almost there. Well, stone touch? There we go. Take it down, Titus. There you go. I think we've got our A-team at the moment. Although we could probably swap out Waka with anyone and still call it an A-team. Hey, remember this place. We're securing the high road under Maester Keenock's orders. Well, I can tell you it's not secure. I had to fight, like, a load of things on the way here. <gasps> the Trekker one's still here. Oh, hello. No charge this time. Hey, there we go. We'll ride one on the way there, get some Blitzball in, and then I'll do the way back probably off screen. Chocobo? Look at it go. You know, we're missing out on a lot of battles, but we, we got stuff to do. I tell you what, they do make Trek Bros feel fast in this game. Uh, I think I think it's a a fun tradition in all the Fun Fantasy games to have a blank de chocobo, you know, waltz or uh, rock de chocobo. Like, just take a genre of music and make it into the chocobo song. I think one of my favourites was the FF7 one for the chocobo race down at Gold Saucer. Is that Gold Saucer or is that Coral? I think it was Gold Saucer. Oh, hello. Please rest assured, on Guado's honour, we will guard the high road. I think Guado looked pretty cool. I'm almost there, almost on the way home. Hey, we're back. There you go. We rode a chocobo. And now we're here in Luca, where there are no combats to be had. Other than the combat in the gladiatorial arena of Blitzball. But first, 
let's go and schmooze with the loopy goers and the ronso fangs and see who of them would like to become a Besaid Auroch. You might you might be asking why the Luka goers? They were you know kind of really mean to you in like the first few episodes, and I uh, you know I'm willing to introduce people to the Besaid Auroch so that they might understand that you don't you don't have to be mean to be a great Blitzball player. Especially when uh, you have uh, the star player of the Zanuck and Dapes. Uh, right. So this is Biggs and Wedge. Biggs is hired by the Abed Sykes. He's level 16 already. His stats aren't great though. This is Wedge. Who uh, we might we might pick up Wedge. If, uh, if we don't get lucky with anyone else. I'm trying to remember how many... I think it's 10 people in a team. Hey, what's up? This is a Luke Girls locker room. No one authorized entry. Fair. I mean, if it makes you feel any like better, buddy, they're, they're never in there. All the Luka Goers hang out, I think, in the docks. For some reason. So who who was available? I think it was... Uh, there's no one over this way, because this is the Besaid dock. Oh, no. There's this guy. <sighs> what is his name? Zatz? Raditz? Something something like that, I want to say. He's now bed. Needus. So close. Uh, 12 endurance, 10 shot. He's a good striker. Speed 30. Not bad. Uh, we'd go with Wedge, I think, over him, though. You know, that, that name brand always seems a bit more... Uh... Oh, who's playing at the moment? Oh, God, I didn't get a seat. Well. I uh, don't think there's any over here. There's a treasure chest, though. Uh, that's the SS Leaky, I think. That's the ship that we rode in on. This is the... Oh, Avis. Oh no, Rowdy. He's got one contract left. 13 catch. Level 12. Oh, you're not particularly good, are you, buddy? There's Avis. What up? He's got 14 games with the Albert Sykes at the moment. 15 endurance, 17 shoot. He's... He's honestly worse than like Dado is. We got Bixen and Grav over here. Grav would be an excellent pickup if we could make it, but look at that. look at those stats. He's fairly tucked in though. Bixen also where the looker goes. So it's Balgerda and Doram who I guess we're looking out for. Who are over here? Balgerda two games. She has 16 pass, 16 attack, 13 block. A pretty good defender to be honest. And then Doram who is. Currently available. 12 pass, 6 endurance, 14 attack, 11 block. It's not great. But I'm going to sign her. And we'll sign her for 5 games and see how, see, how she, see how she does. As I try not to dip into Sean Connery. Or we'll see how she judge. And these are the Ronso players. Gazna Ronso. Who is their midfielder, I think. Our guy Ronso, a striker. Look at that. Speed 40, so Nidus was slower than Aronso. Basic Ronso, one of their other strikers. N Nivy Ronso, yep. Another defender. Zamzi Ronso, their goalie. And then Erga Ronso, their other defender. Okay. So, I think if we play a few games, we might be able to pinch maybe a Luka Goa if they don't re-sign them. But for now, we've got uh, was it Doram under the wage? This is Zevronso. 12 endurance, 11 shoot, 7 block. He's not a bad early striker. Um, I think I still prefer Wedge, though, just in terms of stats. Uh, other players around here include, I think, Jamal and Shu. Jamal being a keeper and Shu being a striker, I think. Okay, let's, let's sign Wedge for now, then. I think we've definitely got that. I'm more confident with Wedge being good, but we'll sign him for five games, see see how it goes. More than eight players, we'll have to release a player. Hmm. Who would we release if we did? Keeper? And then just have Tidus in goal the whole time, regardless? More than eight players. So at the moment, we've got we've got the Bethesda Oryx, Tidus, and Rop. 
Those are our two kind of like additions. Rop, I think, is too solid to take away. We kind of need a second striker, though. Like, Letty's good, but he's... He's being kind of outpaced by Rop these days. I'm not sure. I think we get rid of Keeper. I mean, he's got a reasonable catch, but... We want somebody kind of shit in gold, just so the game is the game is still fun. Uh, yeah. We'll swing out Keeper. He's with us for five games at the very least. Worst case, all the Poseidon Rocks are in that locker room just down there. So I can always re-sign them. Or somebody else might sign them and level them, maybe. Alrighty. Up against the Ronso Fanes. So we're going to have Dado, Wedge, Rock, uh, Doran, Bossa, and us. It's a bit of a mishmash team, but... Uh, Oh boy, Doram has... Dor Doram's got some skills. Find an instant wall carry from another way. That seems pretty good for a defender. Uh, with a tackle, probably he's going to be our best tackle. There's also nap tackle, though. What's the percentage on that? Put the target sleep of endurance is reduced to zero. 100% chance. That might be worth a go. What is Doram's attack? I think it's, I think it's not that high, though. Okay, not too bad. Wedge doesn't have a technique slot, so that might harm us, but I think we can still make it work. Tackle slip, be good for Dado. Uh, we'll get Wedge on that sphere shot, I think. Rob wants nothing. Doram will take Wither Tackle 2. Botter's going to take Anti-Venom, because it's got Venom in the name. And Nim will take nothing. Okay, we've got two new players on the field. Keeper has unfortunately been let go, but, you know, what are you going to do? If we can if we can get Grav, that would be good. I think I think it's unlikely, though. Okay. Get that center attack going. And then you swim away. Pull back. Take the hit from Bassett Ronso. Dribble then forward. Get everyone going. Oh, look at that tackle slip. Not even disorientated. That is a to perfection move right there. Alright, there we go. Uh, we'll just pass over Nuviranso over to Wedge, whose health is not particularly great. Like, even if he got Sphere Shot, I don't think he'd be able to use it. He's quick, though. Yeah, look at this. Right in front of goal. Kicks it forward. He's got Super Goalie. 13 catch, though, no chance. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, Gazner on so with the catch. Oh, there you go, center attack, we're all getting in on it. Rop has chosen not to come with us, though. Uh, Wedge and Dardo, not particularly good attack. Got that with a tackle too, though. Bam. Half that shot. Thrown over to Basic, one of their strikers. Alright, hold on. You know what, team? We're all just going to do normal. Center attack is good, but they're swimming way out to the sides. He's going to go for a shot immediately after this. Bottle with a Venom Tackle. Poisons him, but does not get the ball. Going for a shot, this might go in. They have Titus in the goal, after all. 8 vs 3. Straight in. It's going to be a tough game. We're just going to have to score more goals than they do. R rather than defend, I wasn't just being obvious. Alright, Rop, in you go. I think you can just take on Gazna, yeah. We'll do that and dribble. And then we'll keep going forward. Dado is right next to us. We're going to take the hit from that uh, and then try to pass over. Drain tackle. Oh, tackle slip though. Did leave us disorientated, but we're going to try to throw over to Dado. Oh, I just grabbed straight out of the air. He's surrounded, though. Three on defense. Hey, Doram with her first move of the game. Someone's got 18 block. Rock. Just going to pick it straight out of the air. Alright, somebody's in front of goal. 
and surprisingly we are not being uh, intercepted over the wedge well, a nice little perfect pass just speeding on right past the uh, Ronso Fury Ronso Fangs I want to call him the Fury Oh, 1717. No chance. 2 1 to the Besaid Aurochs. Swim straight into Wedge. Yeah, Wedge, somewhat lacking a technique at all. Not going to be able to make any trouble. Rop's in, though. And Doram's looking to follow. Does not get in though. With a tackle too. Ah, oh, halves that shot. Gazner not really known for his striking though. Alright. Oh, Rob does make his way in there. Somewhat swam up from below. Rob grabs the ball off Ergoronso. Gonna swim forward. Might have an opportunity to give Wedge a. Uh, a fairly sizable hat trick on his debut. Over to Wedge. Nicely done. Oh, he's got no endurance, though. He won't survive a defender. Alright, he's just trying to leave with it. Get out of that range. There we go. And then he's going to pass it over to Bodder. Two, one. Just gets it. And then Bodda is gonna pass it over to Dado. We'll try to get a shot going just before the end of the first half. Run, Dado, run! Oh. Ah, oh, no one on attack. We're gonna make it a nap shot. Clock's ticking. Ah, oh, it sends him to sleep. It volleys out. Ah, oh, it does not volley out to Dado, though. 2-1. A reasonably close game. No level up, no levels up for the Ronsos. Level 2 for Wedge. Pretty critical level there. Alrighty. Let's do Dado, Wedge, Letty, Botter, Doram, Us. We'll mix it up a little bit. We got subs now. Anybody going for with the pass two? I don't think so. Doram going for with a tackle two, unless somebody's on that. No. And I guess Tidus will go for a shot. Worst case now, we don't have a goalkeeper, so we'll still always be kind of fair because no one is actually good in, in goal at the moment. Letty with the ball. Okay, we're just going to try to go through Gazna and then throw over to Wedge, I think. Maybe Wedge? Maybe Dado. Dado's probably the safer bet. He's got the endurance to uh, at least sustain A attack. He's making his way forward. He's going to have to break through Ergoron, so, but 21 to 12 should manage it pretty easily. With tackle 2, though. Oh. Nice oh, pass is hard, but thankfully not a shot. Super keeper. Oh. 21 falls asleep. It will never fall to us for a volley shot. Not since that one time. Alright, three on defense. Not the strongest attackers, but you now we try our best. Ah, oh, Wedge with the ball. He's gonna get that hat trick if he can. He's open on goal. There is literally nobody like, uh, like conscious in goal at the moment. There we go. A nice hat trick for Wedge. Welcome to the team. I think if I got Grav, I'd replace Letty with Grav. I mean, it is possible to have the best team with just the Besaid Orox. We proved that kind of last season. But this way, I like mixing it up. Everyone should have the, the glory of being a Besaid Orox. Ready with the wither tackle, halves that shot. Gasner on so at this point, with you know fractions of what he started with. Doram and Botter on defense. 
Nap tackle. Does not take him down though. 20 pass with 11 block. Levy learns in technique. Oh, 3, 2, 1. Just barely gets it. Oh, we might try a shot from here. No nope, pass from here. He's going to throw it back forward to Gazna. Gazna's going to try to take it towards goal. He's going to try to pass it back. Back over to Basic. And is Basic now going to swim slightly forward and then pass it back? He's got three on defense. He's going for a sphere shot. We cannot let this happen. But we might. Ah, oh, missed that tech copy. 26. This this is probably going to be a goal. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh, it's coming in 2 versus 3. Nope, never mind. We're terrible. 2 to 3. Alright. Wedge has got, I think, three goals. Let's see if we can try to get Dado a goal, maybe. Let's swim up this way. I can probably go through whoever this is. Our guy, I think. Yeah, he's only got nine attack. No troubles at all. Alright, swimming forward. Try to push everyone. Get everyone off Dado if I can. There we go. Fly, Dado, fly! Dotto Dado, there we go. Got to get that second goal. Straight up nap shot. Bam, into the back of the net. Four to two. Dorome's uh, been a uh, pretty good pretty good hand replacing Jasu. I think uh, I think we might keep her on for more than just the uh, the five games maybe. And Wedge, I mean a hat trick in his debut. It's pretty good, pretty good. All right, Doran with a nap tackle has not actually been able to get the ball of anyone though. But is, uh, has been has been trying, trying their best at the very least, and is quick enough to keep pace. Oh, going for another sphere shot. I'm tempted to let it through just so I can try to tech copy it again. Oh, I didn't get it. It's it's really difficult to know when you should be able to tech copy. This is going to go in. Thirteen to three. Oh man. It's a closer game than you'd like, but one I'm still confident that we're winning. Levy with the ball. Alright. see if we can pull some of these guys off Wedge. And then give Wedge the ball. I'm just going to take the hit, I think. Oh no, I'm going to try to pass over. I said the opposite of what I was trying. Yeah, we're not going to have time. So we're going to swim and take it in ourselves. There you go. Goal. Not bad, not bad. If we can get Wedge, Wedge now has a technique slot, even better. And Lady learn to move. Cooler Cans, contract with the Killica Beast expires. She is re-signed for 16 games. Rowdy's contract, the goalkeeper with the Luffy Goers. Keeper. Well. Isn't this betrayal? They dropped Rowdy and picked up our goalkeeper. The worst goalkeeper, although the our keeper, because we trained him well, is better than their keeper. I feel like uh, I feel like we have to drop Jasu, and we have to get Rowdy, and we have to show them how good Rowdy can be. Use their own weapon against them, you know. Can't, they signed him for twenty-two games. That's a commitment right there. Well, 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 well. Albed Sykes. Biggs, the counterpart to Wedge with three goals. Uh, Iskin and Larbite. Team two. Luca goes with only one goal. And us with a hat trick on Wedge. Okay. That puts us joint first with the Luca goes and the Albed Sykes. Very well. Well, before we end this episode, then, the next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to hire Rowdy. And we're gonna we're gonna show the Luca goers just what they were missing. Unless he's really bad, in which case we'll probably just drop him and get Jasu back. What up, Rowdy? Where you at? Here you are. You know, we're gonna sign you for in fact they signed you for twenty two games? Thirty two games. I'm I'm confident. I'll even drop who was it? Jasu, I'll drop Jasu, I'll do it. There you go, it's happening, it's done. You're a member of us now. Uh, I'm going to ignore what you said there. There you go, so we've now signed two Luka Goers. Uh, and just a random guard somewhere. Oh hey, it's Igar. Appears to be a Blitzball game happening between the Albert Sykes and us. That is... Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, and the Luka Goers are... Appears to be a save going on. Nothing quite happened. I'm assuming it's a promo. Otherwise, I have to be somewhere and I've forgotten. But indeed. For now, though, I shall continue the Blitzball Madness in the next episode before we make our way back up Meehan High Road. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching.